What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're going to test something out that somebody wanted to see how it worked on this laptop. And that certain something would be these guys right here. PTM 7950 thermal pad. Now this is a phase changing pad. And what it does is when it gets to a certain temperature, it changes into a more liquidy state. And then it seems to go right along with performance with a liquid metal. At least that's what it seems like on everybody else's tests. So I might lose a degree or two. I might gain a year or two to because with liquid metal if you don't apply it absolutely perfectly you get shit temps but anyway i've already cleaned these guys off so i'll just show you real fast see i've already cleaned those off best i can anyway i saw another guy who really impressed me he got his like so clean i didn't see an ounce of freaking liquid metal or nothing i've sat here for like 30 minutes and i can't seem to get the small amount of liquid metal around the edges to go but it seems to be protected so i'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope it doesn't get anywhere it's not supposed to go here but now i'm gonna turn off the camera real quick get this stuff cut and get it installed so let's go do that well all right we already got the little sticks on there i was thinking oh shit i probably should have shown you guys but all you gotta do is cut them to the exact size of your processor and gpu which is super easy and it doesn't have to even be exact this stuff is non-conductive so we can uh not have to worry about it getting someplace it shouldn't we got a misty well hello why don't you go in the chair little one delicate stuff going on okay anyway so i am a little angry i didn't do that but it is what it is could tape that back down but whatever it doesn't really get in the way of anything so who really cares but anyway i'm just to the part where i need to tighten those things down i just put them like pretty much hand tight and now i'm gonna tighten them like a son of a bitch i've decided to go with the spring and two washers and we're just gonna tighten the shit out of it and hopefully with the power of these and lots of pressure hopefully we will get either the same temps or that we used to get way back when i first got the thing or hey how cool would it be if we actually got better temps i still think that no matter what if you turn this thing up to 100 watts on the CPU and 190 on, or 190 is 100, I think it's 195 on the system, then I just don't think these four little heat pipes or heat sinks can take it. That's why the new one of these, I don't know if you guys have seen it, the whole entire back here is all heat sink and still has a little more heat sink on the sides too. So I'm excited. I'm probably going to get the 16 inch version with the Nebula HDR display because I was thinking about getting the 18, but it's a little too big. I was also looking at the Blade 18, but it doesn't have an HDR display and it's kind of sleek and whatnot, but but it's a thousand dollars more and it seems to lose out to both the asus and the msi and benchmarks so why would i want to spend a thousand dollars more for worse performance unless i just wanted the smaller form factor and the more a little bit more professional less gamery look but i like the rgb and all that stuff that's why i was always careful not to damage it on this thing <laughs> anyway though i'm gonna get these things all tightened up and then we will get this thing put back together start it back up hopefully i didn't break anything in the process but i mean i've taken this thing apart so many times i feel like i could almost do it with my eyes closed at this point. Uh, although, as soon as people get cocky like that, that's when problems start happening. So just watch. It's just gonna fuck up and not turn on now. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Guys, it's about to be the moment of truth. Turning it back on and making sure I didn't break anything. So let's take our abogary. Wow, if I could talk. Let's just take our hit of weed that we always take before we do one of these and hope that nothing broke. We'll hit the power button as soon as we're done with the hit. We're gonna take a quick hit of some pure runts. Woo. Oh yeah. It honestly tastes like you're smoking candy. Like no joke at all. But all right, here we go. All right, well, the RGB isn't broken, so that's at least good. I always still get scared, even though I know how to do it now. Oh, there we go. Already booted up. All right, cool. Well, it didn't fry or so bad that it won't boot into Windows, and it's not doing a bunch of artifacts all over the screen, so that's a good sign. But now, why don't we go get hardware info running and get some load on the thing, run some Cinebench. Now, the trick with this stuff is you can't just go run, like, one quick Cinebench run and then, uh, Expect this stuff to give you good performance. You've got to let that stuff kind of melt, so to speak, or do its phase change thing. So I'm going to go and let Cinebench run for its normal 10 minutes like it's supposed to, and then we'll come back and see what the temperatures are like. Now, it'll probably hit 96 for a little while, but after a while, maybe it'll drop under and go down to 94 or 90 or even under 90. How cool would that be? Or it might go hotter than it was ever before. We don't know. That's why we do this shit for science. And I don't mean, mind being a guinea pig for you guys, because if I break this, it's no big deal. I'd be sad because it's the thing that started my YouTube channel, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. I'd just go buy one of those new 4090 laptops, probably the Scar 16 with the HDR Nebula display. That thing looks sick. But anyway, that's besides the point. Hopefully this thing's not broken. Doesn't seem to be yet, but all right, I thought I had something else to say, but just a little stoned. So let's get started on this shit here. All right, guys. Well, the final score doesn't matter too much because I just let this thing go for like almost 30 minutes. And we got 11,536. And then our temperature 
did not exceed 95 degrees and our average during the whole test was 93. So with that said, let's carefully put our camera back onto its tripod like so. And now let's go test the GPU side of things out with a quick couple of runs of Fire Strike. Well, all right guys, we got 26,415, but I feel like if we kept running this over and over again, the temps would get better because I only ran this twice so if I sat here for like 30 minutes like I did with the Cinebench runs, then I am willing to bet we would drop down to under 86 or 286. So I'm gonna have to be care I'm gonna have to just sit there for like 10, 15 minutes and let the games warm up so this stuff has time to turn to liquid before I start making videos. I can't just instantly get right in there or it's gonna look like I have even worse temps than before. Well, not worse temps than before, but the same temps as before. CPU is doing better though. GPU, pretty much the exact same. No worse at least. It's not getting up to no 100 or throttling or anything. So it's whatever. Now, in the next video, I plan to do some game tests with it, like some Forza and some, maybe some Hogwarts. Stuff that's hard to run on and we'll see what kind of temps it gets after a while. I'll just sit there and play for like 30 minutes each and we'll just kind of come back in and see what kind of temps. We'll get a before and after. Just see what it's like at first without letting it warm up and then we'll cut back 30 minutes later or so after I've been gaming for a while and we'll see what the temps are then. Because it should get better temps the warmer and longer it's been being warm because it takes time to phase change after all. But anyway though, why don't we go wrap this video on up? Well. All right, guys, that is a wrap for this quick video on the Honeywell Thermal Change, well, pad, I guess? It's compound, we'll just call it a compound because it feels weird calling it a pad because it's almost just like thermal paste stuck between two pieces of plastic, which make sure you take those off, by the way. You can't just shove it in there and put everything on there. I'll make sure I mention that in the description as well. I should have said that in the beginning and showing you guys how to do it, but I was just so excited to try this out that I kind of just got ahead of myself a couple times, and by the time I thought about it, I already had it, you know, not mounted with the screws, but I already had the heat sink back on, and I figured, well, I don't want to rip it back up. It's probably going to rip the pads apart if I do that, because that stuff's delicate, so. Very sorry about that. I got too excited, but at least as far as the CPU goes, we got like a degree-ish better, so I'll take it, and it might get even better than that the longer we run it. So in games, it might be not 96 anymore. That would be kind of cool, but hey, it might still be. We'll have to wait and see, because we'll definitely do some game tests next. And heck, you guys will see some Hogwarts and whatnot, because I have to retest that game, because updates came out and whatnot. But I'm also just gonna, in that video, just do a bunch of stuff like Forza Horizon like we did the last couple times because that's the way we can compare it to the other times. And then a couple other games we do Hogwarts and maybe a little Returnal too or something like that, just to test it out. But anyway, enough rambling. It's about time to wrap this video on up. I sure hope you enjoyed watching this video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you and I had a lot of fun opening the laptop and trying these pads out. I think they're gonna end up being better than the liquid metal in the long run, just because it's a lot harder to fuck up the application. You literally shove it on the thing, and boom. I know I've got good, like, what you would call it, clamping power now, so it shouldn't have any problem with the uh, pre mounting pressure anymore. That's the word I was looking for. But anyway, as I was saying, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.